Jake or Nick with the rest. Are you not ready? You must be even ridiculous. Oh. Well, what? Ah, there we go. You should be able to understand me now. Sorry, I forget you Earthlings don't understand our language by default. I feel kinda silly now for talking to myself. Also, sorry for stabbing you with a scary looking syringe. Didn't mean to scare you. <clears throat> Here, let me start over and repeat everything I just said. Why, hello there human. Sorry to interrupt your slumber, but we could really use some data on you. This won't take too long. We just need to do a basic examination to get a better understanding on the biology of human life. And don't you worry, we won't be doing anything that would be uncomfortable for you. Well, not today at least. <laughs> you humans always beg us not to probe you the second we give you the ability to understand us. I don't know what kind of rumors have spread to human culture for probing to become such a stereotype for us. I believe that's the word you humans use, correct? Stereotype? We're still learning about your species every passing day, and that includes your languages. But we can go ahead and begin our data collection. I'm gonna be getting close to you, so don't freak out, okay? I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just doing my job. Plus, I wouldn't want to hurt such a cute little thing like yourself. So, I'll take a look in your eyes first. I'm gonna shine this light at you, so focus on my shoulder so you aren't looking directly into this light. Okay. Okay. How interesting that you all have different eye colors. Very different from us. Very pretty, too. All right, let me take a look at your other eye. Okay. Hmm. This eye seems to be a bit different. It looks like it's irritated and more red. You might not have even noticed. Is this common for you humans? Okay, interesting. This is really good data. Okay, now let's take a look at the top of your head. I believe hair is the strongest factor in what differentiates you humans apart in appearance. Every one of you that we've brought up here for data have all had very different hair. Some have been long, some have been short, some have been bright, some have been dark, some soft, some rougher. And then some of you have no hair at all. Yours is quite pleasant to touch. You better be careful or else we might just make you our pet and never let you leave. <laughs> but I'd get in trouble for that, so consider yourself lucky. Okay. Next, I need to take a look at those ears of yours. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Human ears are still kind of funny to us. The way they feel and look. <laughs> this doesn't hurt you at all, right? human ears taste in my notes. Perhaps this 
is an opportunity to add to my notes. Why do we want to know how human ears taste? I assure you it's pure curiosity and our desire to learn. Plus, I don't think it should be that weird, considering you humans eat just about everything that walks on Earth. Also, aren't pig ears sold in your convenience stores for consumption? That's what I thought. Anyways, please sit still for me and allow me to gather my data. And don't you worry. I'm not going to actually eat your ears or anything. You ready? wasn't what I was expecting, <laughs> but thank you for the data. I'm gonna check your other ear now to see if they are similar. But thank you again for sitting nice and still for me. Before I move on, I just need to get a little sample from your ear. If you allow me. There we go. I assure you, this is amazing data for our research. Now, if you'll open your mouth for me, I'm going to take a quick peek and examine the inside. Mm, let's see. I see you have many teeth here. Very firm, might I add. Interesting how it's very red inside here. Completely different from your skin color outside. Okay. Once again, I'm just gonna take a quick sample from the inside of your mouth. I'm just gonna swab this in there really quick. And there we go. Now, I'm gonna examine the rest of your body by feeling around and seeing the different levels of firmness and tenderness. So just sit back and relax while I explore. Okay, so let's feel your shoulders. Hmm. Very firm indeed. I can move down to your arms. Hmm. How interesting. I think some parts are pretty firm, but other parts are quite squishy. <laughs> Alright. Next I'm gonna feel your chest. Okay. Yep, it's quite firm there. You can really feel the bones on the inside right here. And see, you'll come down to your stomach. There is a bit of squish there. 
now? What's with that face? Ah, I see. I forgot you humans are very sensitive about your stomach area. You all value thinner bodies because y'all think that's what's attractive. <laughs> Thank goodness we're not like that. There's no judging up here with my species. Now, I don't know why you should feel shamed by your body. You look perfectly good to me. Anyways, we're gonna move down to your lower body now. I'm gonna feel your thighs. Oh, that's very squishy. <laughs> Let me add that to my notes. Human thighs, very squishy indeed. Okay. <laughs> Makes me wish I had some thighs like these. I'd probably squish them all day. Okay, we're gonna move down a little lower. Around your knees. Ooh, very bony. And bendy. A very crucial part to your anatomy. We're gonna go a little lower. Gonna feel your calves. Also a little squishy. <laughs> I think you quite like having your body squished. <laughs> Does that by chance feel nice for y'all? I guess y'all do have massage surfaces down there. And last but not least, we taking a look at your feet. And very interesting that human feet is only about half the size of our feet. Okay, that will conclude our examination today. I know I didn't exactly examine every single inch of your body, but that's not my job for today. If there's a next time for you, we'll definitely be doing that next time. But I wouldn't count on it. We don't really abduct the same human twice. We try to get new samples, so bringing back an older patient would not make much sense. But things do happen. You also won't be remembering any of this today. Once you return to your planet, it's gonna feel like you just woke up from a long dream. Although for the most part, there shouldn't be any kind of stories about alien abductions on your planet. We're supposed to wipe your memory after our examinations with you. So the fact that many of your kind has recollections of alien abductions tells us that someone up here isn't doing their job and they're forgetting to wipe your memories. Not very good. But if you would look at this little device I'm holding, your memory will now be erased of this entire meeting. I do hope you have a great night of sleep. Sadly, you might wake up a little tired because you lost about an hour of sleep. I do apologize for that. We try to be as fast as possible to show some courtesy for your sleep, but sometimes we require some extra examining. Now close your eyes. Thank you again for your data. <laughs>